Writing for newspapers and magazines was his passion, but writing a whole book was his dream. And now is a published author with Invincible Publishers. Please welcome Abhiraj. Hi Abhiraj, how are you doing? Uh, hello, I'm very fine. Okay, tell me something about you Abhiraj, tell our audience something about you. Sure, firstly I would thank you to uh, let me give the chance to introduce myself. Mm-hmm. My name is Abhiraj Mesampuri. I'm currently living in Patiala. I am a student of class 7th as well as an author. Mm-hmm. I have one book to my name, Three Brave Friends. It was released by Honorable Cabinet Minister of Punjab, Shri Vijayendra Singla. And uh, I have uh, dedicated my past three years to writing and I hope to do many in future. Mm-hmm. Apart from this, I have been writing articles uh, and uh, poems, short stories. Many of my articles had been published in The Tribune. Mm-hmm. And one of my article was uh, taken out as the best article from my region. Oh, and I'm very yeah. proud of that. <laughs> you should be, you should be. Um, yeah. Abhiraj, what do you do when you're not writing? Now, this is the writing part. What, like, kind of, it kind of work also, or studies also. So, what do you do where, for leisure? What do you do when you, like, what are your likes, dislikes, hobbies, apart from writing? Actually, yes. Actually, when I'm free, uh, means many of my time goes in my studies because seventh is a uh, high, higher standard. <laughs> Many of my time going in studies, uh, as well as I uh, see YouTube, play <laughs> games in mobile phones. Okay. But my when I am free, my main focus is to study and write books or anything that I want to write. Okay. So, uh, Abhiraj, how did you get this idea of writing this kind of a book, this kind of topic? Yes. Or- uh, actually, uh, if I say honestly, I was firstly writing a criminal type of book. Yeah. Yes, but I started when I uh, written the first chapter about it was about theft. Mm-hmm. But uh, writing and writing, I didn't get any ideas, more ideas for a uh, crime scenes or anything. Mm-hmm. So writing and writing, it become a, a book for children of a fiction genre. Mm-hmm. So that's the story. So where did you get the idea? This is the story of the book. How did you think of the writing such kind of a book? Or like theft or this crime scene or or whatever you uh, wrote till now? There's a book by Ruskin Bond. Mm -hmm. A Masuri mystery. Yes. Firstly, it inspired me a lot to write a a crime scene Mm -hmm. and tragedy. But uh, I didn't got any ideas. So I thought that I want to be a certified author. So let my character be a certified author and make him very troubled from his life. <laughs> okay. So what kind of books do you like to read? Do you like crime thrillers or do you like fiction more, uh, fantasy more, like Harry Potter or something like that? What kind of books do you I like have, to read? I have watched uh, Harry Potter films, but I haven't read it. Ah, and so, about what mm-hmm. my interest is, it's mainly about non-fiction. Mm-hmm. I oh. like to write, uh, read non-fiction because it uh, tells me about uh, someone's life, not an imagination. So what kind of uh, uh, author or which author is your favorite till now? Uh, firstly, I have uh, Ruskin Bond. He writes fiction, but his stories are great. Mm-hmm. And secondly, the most great author, I think, Chetan Bhagat. <laughs> okay. That's I a, read him a lot. That's a, that's a popular Indian author, the most popular Indian author you will see. Yes. And uh-huh. he writes non fiction. That takes me towards him too. He he writes mostly fiction, like fictional novels. But to some some of his books are non-fiction as well. Mm-hmm. So you like reading so that, those kind of books? Uh, yes. Okay. So um, you are just 12, uh, 12, 13 years old and you are 12, 12 years old and you have written yes. this book. Uh, this book and now this is your second book. So Yes. 
uh, what would you like to give tips or like an encouragement to other authors which are like which are your age like around your age even the child authors you may say so how uh, give me an encouragement give the uh, other authors writers possibly aspiring authors how to uh, yes write a book yes actually if i uh, give a tip to any budding author of my age i would uh, uh, say them to maintain patience because if you start writing a book mm-hmm. then you have to think more more and more more and more that what you are writing mm-hmm. so at one point you think to give up now it's and now i have to give up so that you have to maintain patience and a tip that one more tip that i can give is of my age we didn't get many ideas we just get imaginations <laughs> yeah so uh, i uh, write about my life mhm so i can give a tip that if you want to write about your life firstly start living it then write about it but okay so and, but you like studying more and writing more then how do you get your ideas when you are writing in like See, step now something? online classes are going on so we mm-hmm. can't manage time this much mhm because many of our time goes in homework then the the firstly the classes then it's homework then yeah. it's uh, studying said the schedule is completely packed for kids nowadays Uh, but if when we go to the physical school mm-hmm. when we are going to school we get after we come to home we get more time to do something mm-hmm. because we complete our homework uh, the study part at school itself yeah then after mm-hmm. coming home is just fun time a free time but now it's uh-huh, not yes. possible <laughs> for the current yes. time it's not possible yes. okay anyway so, um abhiraj I would like to say that even your tips for your age authors I think it's pretty deep and it relates a lot with the present authors also like to uh, have patience when writing as you said to have patience to have the consistency and I think that was a very mature answer <laughs> so I think it was very relatable as well yes Uh, is there anything uh, you would like our readers to know okay and can yes, you, uh, you can present your book as well uh, my first book no your second book with our publishers okay so actually my second book is zid the determination to achieve i would like to tell that uh, uh, the, my book it uh, the story revolves around a 10 year old boy His name is Vinayak and he is also living in Patiala like me. Mm-hmm. He also want to be an author. Mm-hmm. He like to roam on the streets of Patiala because they are very entertaining. Okay. He he want to be a certified author but he didn't get any support from his family. Okay. But one day he receives an invitation letter from a publication situated in Delhi. Mhm. without asking his parents or he waste he didn't waste his time and grab that opportunity but when he was uh, his hand got read by an astrologer mm-hmm. when his hand got read his whole life got changed so we will and, uh, we will let this be suspense we'll let on yes, the whole yes. story after that let let it take it as a suspense and our readers surely would love to read what is going going to happen and what journey he goes through and it's also yes. a, cr- a little bit of crime and everything right yes, yes, it has little yes. bit of everything so please yes. do read abhiraj's new book z uh, it's on amazon and you can read it over there you can also get paperback version so thank you thank you <laughs>